I was talking to some potential coaching clients recently. We discussed how difficult the job market is for junior UI UX designers. Since it is very difficult to get a job starting out, I almost always recommend to spend some time freelancing on Upwork to get experience and then looking for a full-time job. But in these conversations, I've heard multiple times that Upwork is hyper-competitive and it's almost impossible to find work, especially if you don't have much experience. When I was starting out, it worked very well for me and got my career off the ground. I've even made multiple videos about my methods for finding clients as a new designer. But there's just one potential problem. It's been years since I've been on Upwork. So while my strategies did work well at the time, I really can't say for certain that they're going to work in 2024 during a massive slump in the job market. To find out for sure, I decided to do a challenge. I'm going to pretend to be a beginner UI UX designer on Upwork and see if I can get a job by following my own advice. In order to do this, I'm going to make a brand new profile on Upwork and make it seem as though I have almost no experience. Everything I'm going to do to find a job are things that anybody can do within six months of starting UI UX design. Now let's see if this works. Challenge starts now. To start this out, I got to work on making a new Upwork profile. This is kind of tricky because the most effective way to make a profile is to talk about great results that you've gotten for past clients, which I obviously can't talk about. Beyond having experience, there are a few things that really matter to clients when they're hiring a designer. They want someone who communicates well, meets deadlines, and produces designs that look exceptional. In my profile, I'm going to show that these are the things that I prioritize. I want them to have a feeling like I'm reading their mind and I'm exactly what they're looking for, even though I'm a quote unquote beginner. On an Upwork profile, you should also talk about some past experience, even if you don't have much. In this section, I'm saying that I completed the UX certificate from Google and the principles of UI UX design certificate from Meta. These certificates are free, so it stays within my rule of only following universally accessible strategies. I'm also going to say that I spent two months doing volunteer work for a startup. Anybody can do this to get a bit of experience doing real projects before jumping into paid freelance projects. On the profile, you can also add an intro video. I decided to make a one minute video for this where I introduce myself and talk about the principles I follow as a designer. I didn't have one when I was on Upwork in the past, but I think that this is a nice touch and should help with getting responses. The next thing to do was add some design work. In the past, I've primarily used my Dribbble profile as a portfolio to show to potential freelance clients, and it worked well. I'm going to make a new Dribbble profile because they need to see that all of the work was posted recently. I'm going to use some old concept projects for this that I had on my other profile. But since this work is good but not great, I've also gone ahead and designed five new concept projects. I have a variety of projects that I designed just for this. I have two mobile apps, two web apps, and one landing page. This kind of work is pretty similar to what you'll find on Upwork. I wanted to design some really eye-catching screens so that clients could get excited about their product looking similar. Here's a closer look at the end result of these projects. In the descriptions, I'm making sure to state that this is not real client work and these are only conceptual. In addition to putting this work on Dribbble, I also added the new concept projects to the portfolio section on my Upwork profile. This might seem like some pretty advanced work, but I do believe that anyone can produce work like this within six months of starting UI UX design if they practice every day and constantly watch tutorials and online courses. With all of these things in place, I think I'm at the point where I can officially call this profile done. Even though I don't have much experience listed on here, I think this profile is actually better than the one I used in the past. All right, now that we have that done, it's time to start sending in proposals for projects. I'm honestly a little bit nervous about this. Like, if this fails, not only is this whole video going to be a bust, but everyone who says that Upwork is impossible for new designers is going to be proven right. And the worst thing about this failing is I might have to officially say that I cannot recommend becoming a UI UX designer in 2024. We all know it's incredibly difficult to even get an interview for a full-time job. So if freelancing is also not an option, then I don't even know. And neither does Bo. I started sending out proposals to any job that seemed like it could be a good fit. I set my hourly rate at $30, which is definitely high for somebody with no experience on the platform. It seemed like this could still work since the designs on my profile are probably better than many of the other beginner profiles that they're seeing. 
As I started looking at some of the criteria in these job descriptions, I was feeling more confident about this. Many of them stated that they're looking for great visuals, which I think I demonstrated in my portfolio. I thought this would be easy. I sent out about 15 proposals and just waited for the responses to come in. But then, something unexpected happened. So, I've been working on the, this Upwork challenge video and been sending out proposals for like two days and haven't gotten any responses yet. Like it, it used to be so much easier four or five years ago to use Upwork and, and get the responses. So do you think you'll figure it out? I don't know. Um, I'm going to change up my strategy a little bit on it, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting a little bit nervous here. I got back to sending out proposals and changed a few things around. I lowered my hourly rate from $30 to $20 and specifically looked for jobs that weren't getting a huge number of responses. I sent out another seven proposals and then I got my first response. Lowering the hourly rate definitely seemed to do wonders here. This is for what seems like a pretty decent job. It's a redesign of a dashboard for a legitimate company. In this message, the client said that they were interested in moving forward and wanted to get on a call to talk more. The thing is, I don't feel right getting on a call with a busy business owner and wasting their time. But what I do know from my years of experience on Upwork is that more than 50% of the time when I get on a call with someone, I will end up getting hired. It's really more like 60 or 70% of the time. Since I'm not going to be getting on calls with the clients and clearly have them tell me that I have the job, I'm going to try and get more responses and invitations to interview. That's definitely the hardest part right there. To call this challenge a success, I'm going to try and get at least two more responses for a total of three. If I can get to that point, I can pretty much guarantee that one of them would become a client. Now, let's get back to these proposals. I was absolutely determined to get these responses. I lowered my hourly rate again to $15 per hour, which is where I started when I first got on Upwork. I also spent a bit less time writing each proposal. I kept them shorter and focused more on quantity rather than quality to see if that would make things easier. I regularly sent out proposals over a few days. Luckily, this round of proposals went a lot better. I got some big news. Over the past couple of days, I got two new responses. One of them was even saying that I seemed like a great fit for the job, started talking about details of the project, and was asking when I can start. So I can officially call this challenge a success. This was way more difficult than I thought it would be. I put many hours into sending out these proposals, but I can officially say that Upwork is still possible for beginner designers in 2024. I'm going to think about what some of the main takeaways are from this challenge and check in with you tomorrow. I learned a lot about succeeding on Upwork from doing this. The game has definitely changed in 2024. I think that there's many good designers out there who are having trouble finding work who have gone to Upwork. But I think that there are still a few things that you can do to succeed. The first is to start very modestly in terms of what you charge and the projects that you go for. It's definitely difficult to make some serious money on here when you're just starting out. I would recommend starting at around $15 per hour and working your way up from there. That seems to be the sweet spot to get clients to reply. When I was trying to charge $30 per hour and I had no reviews, that was clearly too much to get any sort of interest. The second is to prioritize getting reviews on your profile. I've seen how much easier this gets once you get your first couple of reviews. Clients are very reluctant to hire an unproven designer. The best way to do this is probably to take some low paying projects that aren't very exciting just for the sake of getting those first reviews. The third is good UI and visual design are the things that make Upwork possible. I've talked to multiple designers who've said that they cannot get a response from a client no matter what. I think that the number one reason why I was able to get responses on here is because of the good UI design that I had in my portfolio. I would recommend to first focus on developing your UI skills before trying to find a client on Upwork. The fourth and final thing is to be prepared to send out a lot of unanswered proposals. You're going to get ignored most of the time, but if you just send out a lot of them, someone will probably answer and eventually hire you. Finding a client on Upwork is very tedious until you have reviews. 
Overall, I do still think that Upwork is the best way for new designers to get experience. It's definitely difficult, but the alternatives are even more difficult. This is also very likely the worst time that there ever was for designers. It's most likely just gonna get easier from here. So if you're a new designer, give Upwork a try because it might just get your career off the ground.